This weekend is the Denver Polar Plunge out at Wash Park, benefiting Special Olympics of Colorado. I will be there, I will be emceeing, and I will be taking the plunge at the very end. But before we look forward, let's look back at some of my most famous or infamous polar plunges. Three, two, one. Okay, so this was in 2016 out at the Aurora Reservoir. Uh, you could see the young uh, Jason Grenauer there and the short hair. What I had to do here was actually barrel roll into the water. It was kind of low. You can't just jump in and go knee deep, especially when you're doing so on live TV. No comment on the bathing suit there, but still bonus points because this was on live TV. Okay, fast forward now. 2020 out at Wash Park, the site of this weekend's Polar Plunge. Take a look at your guy right here. Look at that four of the cannonball, the tuck, and the height. You know what makes this even better? Take a look at the after picture. After I go into that ice cold water and I'm coming out, out rising like a phoenix out of that freezing cold water, this photo was so good, they actually used it on the website to advertise the polar plunge. Then of course things went virtual. Take a look at that year. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh. Okay, breaking this down, this is my niece and nephew dumping some water there on me. Yeah, it was pretty cold. And then of course my brother-in-law had to get involved with the five gallon bucket. If I recall, as I'm telling people where you can donate, this was one of the coldest days of that year, single digit temperatures. I told the Special Olympics people it took me about half the year to warm up from that one. Well, if you want to take part in this year's Polar Plunge, again, it is this weekend. It is out at Wash Park. You can still sign up. We have a link to do so up on the DenverChannel.com. I know the wind. The wind is starting to pick up. So that is probably the coldest thing. I can I've ever experienced. Um, <laughs> it's freezing. It's absolutely <laughs> freezing. They said the ice was actually here a couple days ago. The winds blowed away. They said it's no more than 30, uh, 40 degrees, but I would beg to differ. I would say it's 33. As if it was 32, it would be freezing, but it's freezing. <laughs> so it's Corey Ruffin <laughs> behind the camera. He's the one that's... Oh my um, How did it go? He's yeah, the yeah, we did. You know, he, he, he's, you can get out of the water now, Jason. <laughs> So I think Corey's gonna hand him his eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got one right here on the end. He's so cold. Uh, Someone get the poor oh, guy a towel. Yeah, where's the towel? I'm gonna get no, yeah, towel just... on the end of that towel. <laughs> oh, he can't talk anymore, guys. His his oh, mouth is Corey. frozen. Oh, Corey. <laughs> Corey, tell him to get a towel and get well. That was epic. You know, it would be great. He, he did the full oh, goodness. <laughs>
He, we, we told him. Ooh. I told him, Canada. For a good reason. <laughs> kind of Come a on out. Donate. 